to the video. At this point, it's not really the start of the video anymore, but hope you enjoyed the little montage at the start of the vlog. This week, we are in Laguna Beach, one of my favorite places. We made a pit stop in Costa Mesa on our way down, which we'd never actually been to before. We stopped at Good Town Donuts, which has some of the best vegan donuts I think I've ever had. We got the berry berry, raspberry pistachio, maple walnut, and then Nutella. Nutella was the only one that wasn't vegan, but their entire like top shelf of donuts, which I think there are probably like at least 10 different flavors there were all vegan. And then they have a bottom shelf that's like regular donuts. Got some coffee at a really cute spot called Nook. So if you're ever in the area, I highly recommend you check it out. Delicious food, a very cool vibe. It actually reminded me a lot of the Gardens of Alexandria. If you have been to Sydney or watched my Sydney vlog, I did a whole little section about when we went there. Very similar vibe. But yeah, I really loved it. Just like if you're looking to have some good food and coffee and check out some cute like local shops, support local businesses, then that's the spot. And then of course we made it to our final destination, Laguna Beach. We had some lovely drinks at a rooftop patio, had some dinner, and then honestly like a pretty quiet night in. But today it is a beautiful day. We got up and went to Active Culture, which I have been to Laguna many times, but I've never gone there before. Got some acai bowls, sat outside. They have a really beautiful outdoor seating area from which you can see the ocean, which is always a bonus. And then from there, we went to the Laguna Beach Coffee Company, which is right next door. Coffee was amazing. We were debating whether to just go to Starbucks and then thought we're in Laguna Beach, why not check out a local spot? And I highly recommend it. They even have like little wrapped complimentary chocolates that you can have with your coffee, which I mean, you can't go wrong with free chocolate, I think. Walk down to the water. There are so many beautiful homes that look directly over the water here. And every time I see those homes, I just think like how incredible that you can just look out your window and think the ocean is right there. We are actually going to go on a little hike right now. If you watched my other Laguna Beach vlog that I will link for you guys somewhere here, it's the same hike we did in that video. But when we went the first time, we didn't really like hike it. We just more sort of walked around. It was getting dark by then. So we kind of like checked it out, watched the sunset and left. But today we want to do a few more of the trails and like really get a feel, really get a feel for the hike, you know? So that's what we're going to do. But yeah, I need to get out of this sweater now because it's I'm literally, I'm so sweaty. Here we are. Who remembers this spot? We did come at a different time of day. So the sun was setting. I also feel like when we were here last, you could see the ocean a bit better. It's also crazy sun glare, but it still looks super beautiful. And I think as the sun goes down and the lighting changes, it'll be even prettier. Another exciting news, my sweatshirt has pockets. It's a great day. Um, in less exciting news, apparently we are in mountain lion country. So there's that. I don't love that, but um, there has been a bit of a theme to my videos lately. Fun wildlife. Don't know that I would consider a mountain lion fun necessarily. Don't know that I need to see one in the wild. I mean, it would make for a great thumbnail. Escaped a mountain lion in the wilderness. We'll see. Just walked down this big hill, which later probably be walking up. This is the valley that we normally drive through when we're coming to Laguna, but this time we took the one over. But yeah, there's all sorts of uh, beautiful galleries and stuff in there. There are no um, mountain lions or rattlesnakes yet, but because there's so much like dry, dead bush, when the wind blows through, it sounds like those things are all around you. Oh, why'd you just sidestep like that? I thought something was in the bush. Did you think you heard something? You think that's from a dog? I can't tell. I'm terrified. They're going that way, so we should just keep going this way. If you cover it up, it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Okay, well, let's go get some sick vlog footage, I guess. Okay, guys, mountain lion update. We haven't seen one, thankfully, but uh, we did have a dog walk by us. We left some very interesting paw prints. Him and his owner are now way down there. These are a uh, little prints that left all the way down the hill, so I think we found our mountain lion. I have to say, I am happy to have a dog close because I feel like the closer a dog is, the less likely a mountain lion is to be close to you. Also, for any of you from California, how many mountain lions have you seen in your day? I just get really, I just find signs like that really jarring. And then they just cause me a lot of anxiety on what is supposed to be like a really pleasant, calming hike. But yeah, like I said, very grateful that we did not see any. Now we're just making our way uphill. Let the huffing and puffing begin. Calamari. Start the evening. Ooh, lighting right on time. Mm. 
These are the real guys. That's the real calamari right there. Should I do it? Am I gonna feel them? Okay. <laughs> That was good. Our wonderful server brought us this delicious dessert on the house, so. It's not my birthday or anything, he's just super sweet. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Delicious. similar morning today to yesterday and then we also did a little bit of shopping there's some really cute little surf stores on the main strip in Laguna went to a really cool record store I picked up a cool vintage tea those things are in the car otherwise I would show you but I'm sure they'll make an appearance in a future vlog or Instagram post or something <laughs> now we are at Victoria Beach which is one of our absolute favorite beaches in Laguna I find that it's definitely more of a locals beach so there's not usually very many people here especially at this time of year it's November now obviously which is like late fall winter time so definitely off season there's really not too many people which is really really nice i was hoping it would be warm enough to swim because we're so much more south than la but you know what the water's already gotten pretty cold so i think we're just gonna enjoy the view today don't imagine we're gonna swim just enjoying the sunshine it's so nice oh also bonus you get to look at all these like incredible houses which you also get to walk by when you're getting to this beach because it, there's no access to it from the main road we normally park on the main road and then walk through the neighborhood to get to the steps to get down to the beach people that live here just have like beach access isn't that insane so cool there's also one really special thing well there's a lot of special things about this beach but one special thing in particular which is the pirate tower which I will take you to a little bit later because right now I'm just like really cozy and hanging out anyway I'm gonna continue listening to my podcast now I've been listening to a podcast about k-pop which I don't know much about so it's been very interesting to learn it's actually about the dark side of k-pop so I'm gonna keep listening and see what we learn okay I'm up and walking now the Sun is setting the light is changing this is the tower I told you about and right now it actually says vote 2020 because as I'm filming this it's November 4th, which means currently we still don't know who the next president of the United States is going to be, but hopefully if you're able to vote, you vote it. Also, another thing to note is that depending on the time of year you come and the time of day, all of this could be filled with water, so you kind of have to like stay really close to the wall to get all the way over there. This is actually the first time that I've been here where you can like walk along the beach like this. I've never been able to do that. As you can imagine, there's always a lot of photo shoots happening around here. A little wedding shoot going on. Also, this structure here is normally not full of sand and it's actually a saltwater pool. But like I said, the tides have changed and now it's just a big sandbox. Got wedding shoot number two at the tower. So I did do some reading about this. So this was actually a staircase, I believe for a house that was up here to like have beach access. Now it's just pirate tower. Our little beach setup was right around there, and it's a really short walk to the tower. But like I mentioned, depending on the time of year you're here and the time of day, you might not be able to walk across. You might have to kind of like sort of half scale the mountain, but there's always access. It's just sometimes a little bit more of an adventure to get there, which who doesn't love that? Your stuff's all packed up, heading out. Goodbye, Victoria Beach. We'll be back soon. All right, let's get out of here. Till next time. Hey guys, so in true Greta fashion, I'm doing a sign off a few days later because I forgot to do an outro, what else is new? I'm back in LA, I'm back on set, and actually as I'm filming this, it is the same temperature in LA as it is back home in Toronto, AKA very, very cold. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I always try to get to my comments like within the first few days of posting. I hope you guys have a good rest of your week and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.